about far too many people throughout history have been slaughtered by the unrighteous governments of the world simply due to the witness they bore to the word of God. It's time to put a stop to it. It's time to declare war on the ungodly. It is because of them that there is no truth or mercy or knowledge of God in most of the land. Killing Koresh was the final straw, which is why God's anger burns against them. One of the main reasons I have come is to avenge his death and start the ultimate war of good against evil, Armageddon. Every false government, false economic system, false religion in the world will be spiritually attacked until they no longer exist. This place is too crowded for the both of us. One of us has to go. And according to the Bible, it's going to be them. And you. If you decide to join them and refuse to accept me as your Lord. Only those that accept me as their Lord and Savior and love the Lord God with all their heart, soul, and mind and their neighbor as themselves will be delivered from the coming wrath and allowed to live among us. The rest will be cast into the outer darkness, the eternal blazing fire prepared for the devil and his angels, where they will drink the wine of God's fury poured full strength forever and ever. For the wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness. And if you're one of them, an enemy of God, expect to be destroyed as a rejecter of the truth. For the day of the Lord has come, a day of vengeance by our God. This holy war, this jihad against you will continue until everything you stand for, including yourself, is in complete ruin and passes away. The reason we have no other choice but to do it this way is because this old Babylonian world cannot be fixed. There are far too many problems plaguing it. The only thing we can do is let the judgment of God come upon it. And once it falls, we can replace it with a new world. One that is built completely upon the belief in God.
To help accomplish this, I have written two books under inspiration of the Holy Spirit. The first one is called The Eternal Testament, The Seventh Seal, and the second one is called The Seventy-Seven Letters. If you like, you can purchase them from Kingdom of God Publishing Company and most major online bookstores. These books contain everything necessary to dismantle this society and build the kingdom of God. In them you'll find that there are several big changes are coming. Most notably, the society we create will be a theocracy based completely upon the Word of God. Everyone who is part of our kingdom will be required to do and believe exactly what God tells us. I realize that this doesn't leave much room for freedom of choice. However, this is not a democracy. If you don't like it, you are more than welcome to leave. I refuse to put up with any other viewpoint that has the potential of tearing our kingdom apart. Furthermore, in order to maintain a pure society, every citizen in the kingdom of God is required to observe the Ten Commandments and Divine Law. Failure to do so provides grounds to have you cast out of the kingdom. And therefore, I suggest that you do everything you can to obey and do what is right. If you hope to avoid the possibility because the kingdom is only for the doers of good. Another significant change in this new kingdom is that instead of having democratically elected individuals in charge of us, which of course is in direct opposition to what God wants in a theocratic world, there will be priests in charge who have been ordained to lead us. These priests will use the authority bestowed upon them by God to transform this world into a garden of paradise where love, justice, mercy, and righteousness rules. Because of them, believers in God will no longer have to settle for living in the kingdom of darkness, a Satan-empowered world, where because of people's self-centeredness, every kind of evil dwells. No longer will they have to deal with such things as rampant abortions, homosexuality, racism, greed, and oppression all around them. They now have the option of being led out of the depths of darkness and into the light. Verse 